And now to a segment we like to call So They Say, and I love this one so much because it's talking about college and social isolation. So, social isolation for first year college students can be detrimental, of course, but new research shows that some alone time can actually help adjusting college students. So they say students approach solitude with enjoyment. It helps them adapt to their new way of living, new friendships, and it helps them keep their grades up. Overall, these students had a higher self-esteem and felt less lonely, and other studies have shown too much socializing at first in college can have a negative impact on these areas. Now, researchers also go on to say that you should start even earlier when it comes to your kids. Incorporate a five-year-old spending just a little alone time so they can have yeah. that uh, autonomy to be okay being alone. Yeah, I think that's easy to do when uh, when you have an only child, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, not so easy to do when there's a, other kids in the household distracting the child. I thought the study was just, and I think it's helpful for, for adults too. Yes. Like what is positive alone time versus negative alone time? And knowing when you need the break, not because you want to isolate yourself and not want to be around other people, but knowing you need a break from other people. <laughs> I, I remember as a youngster, and my mom had five in the household, so I knew she was taking care of other things, but as a youngster, I would kind of sneak off in the living room with my Play-Doh, and I would just do my little Godzilla yeah. figures. Uh -huh. I mean, it helped my imagination grow. I really, I, I appreciate yeah. that alone time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think kids know when it's time to get alone, get, get away, and they know when it's time to get away from you as well. Yeah. When they get from around me before I go upside <laughs> down. You know, they just know when to get away. Yeah. I think it's inert, you know. You know.